G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are on the Battlefield Himmelsdorf in the Jag... Ti oh, not the Jag Tiger, sorry, the Panther 88. Uh, the Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank for the Germans. And we are going to show you what can happen <laughs> when you channel the anger from a fight with your wife. Uh, this is that I had, had a bit of a, a, bit of a, a tiff. It's all good now, though. As she uh, remarks that she'll give me a tiff. But anyway, so... So we've uh, decided to move towards the hill. But the last second we see a T-71, we've decided let's go take some uh, health hit points off him. And, um... Yeah, so what can I say about this tank? It's got very good gun handling, in, in my opinion. The aim time's not great but on move accuracy is not too bad especially if you mount a vertical stabilizer which I have I've also running vent uh, no sorry a rammer and optics on it because it does have a decent view range of about 390 the gun itself um, it's the 88 millimeter oops, uh, available to the Tiger 1 and the Tiger 2 it, it basically basically it's the same gun for the top gun on the Tiger 1 and the stock gun for the Tiger too. So it has a base damage of 240 and a penetration of 203. And the premium round has a penetration of 237, which is not too bad and can allow you to perform in tier 10 battles. Although the, if you're firing against medium tank sides and stuff like that and some heavy tanks, you can get shots through. When you're in a tier 10 game, you should just look for... Oh, so we're going to take this out, this 12T. Uh, Very nice shot there. Not quite fast enough on the reload to hit this Tiger 1. But we now need to turn our attention to this ISA, to one of their best uh, best players on the team at 1904 W8. So, the Panther 2 is facing him off at the moment. Not sure what he was trying to do there by turning. He had, I think he may have been trying to bounce the shot, but that probably ended up in his side armor. Snapshot into the Tiger 1, but only detrack him. Although someone in that time managed to do some damage to him well and takes done. him out, so we've hopefully gained some assistance damage from that. We put a shot into the side of the um, IS 8, put a shot into the RU 251. He's going past. And now we're just going to continue dueling with this ISA. We've luckily not lost any hit points yet, so we have the ability to do a couple of trades. He's about four shots away from us with him death. Although he's about four for us as well. He just did a meaty 481 hit points of damage to us. The damage on that gun is averaging well of done. 440 as I used to own a IS-8. That's a good tank, although the armor is a little lacking. Well done. Put a nice shot into the ice safe. We take another hit and we push forward to take him out. Dominating. GG. So now we're gonna move up the street. Because there is some action with an E75 in the RU still there. Looks like at the back there's two camping um, hev uh, camping TDs, which is typical. And there's a couple of um, heavy tanks and a TD at the G line. Put a nice round into the RU251, tracking him. And then when he reverses, we take him out. So, we're currently on 68 health, so we are a one shot for anything that farts in our direction. And we're going to stick with our premium rounds because it is, um, is mid-game and I would like to continue doing more damage. So we put a round to the AT-15, tracking him, allowing the 1390 to get around him. And we finish him by putting a round into the side. Excellent. E-75 goes down. And now we're going to go and take out the tanks on the G-line. 
This tank, while not great in urban maps, can actually excel on these, especially if it uses its mobility. While not the fastest medium tank, it can get up to 40 kilometers an hour and a little bit faster at about 45. So we see the side of an RS3, put it around to him. And he reverses, spelling his doom. We see a sneaky shot in the IS. U152, there he goes, and we just earned ourselves a nice juicy top gun there. There's two tanks left, an arty. Now, I don't think we're going to get this shot, so I auto aim, take a shot, I miss, or sorry, bounce off his side armor. Then we ninja the kill at the last second. Now, at this moment, I'm smelling a Bradley Walters. Now, if any of you ever received one of these, it was a defeat. And we don't quite get it. But, we didn't do, do, do too badly there. Um, we did 2,631 damage. Uh, and we earned ourselves a nice 3,919 W and 8. And we only took four hits, although they were from the two sh shots from the RU, it looks like, and two shots from the IS-8. But we managed to put in 14 of our own, um, doing quite a fair bit of damage to a number of enemy, enemy tanks. Okay, well, that's all it for this game. Um, not much I could have done better. I think I played that pretty well considering the matchup I was in. Um, this was a bit of a whitewash game, but um, getting 7 kills was actually pretty cool. And although some of them were kill stealing, I think we earned it with our level of damage. Anyway, let's check out the post game stats. And as you can say, that was my Ace Mastery in the Panther 88. We earned the Pfeiffer Effect Ribbon, the Duelist Ribbon, and the Bruiser Ribbon, but we got the nice, nice Top Gun Medal. So, the details, we earned 91,900, sorry, 183 credits and 2,253 XP. Now, I don't believe that was doubled. Um, I'll double check that in a second. Um, yes, we did. As we did seven kills, we got the top gun. Uh, let's sort this. No, I don't think that was doubled. Although I think there may have been a event on that may have given me a more XP. So I'm not sure. But uh, we came top of the team, not quite in damage. Although if we'd sort it, we came third in damage, which is not too bad either. So, yes, shout out to the rest of our team who did quite well. This was pretty much a steamroll with only losing four tanks. Um, shout out to that. Well, I say he did very well for the short amount of time he was in Combat 4. Um, so sorry to have used gold rounds on you. I don't particularly like using gold rounds unless I have to. Uh, unfortunately, you were a worthy threat to require those. Um, shout out to that KV5 who did probably at least five hits of damage. Um, he was killed at the end. <laughs> Unfortunately he didn't do wonderfully. Sparpanzer again, he did quite well for a scout. Don't know what the damage is. I think that's about six or seven shots of damage, which is quite good. Um, so yes, shout out to both teams though. It was a pretty good game, except their, t their team failed a little bit. So, yes, we fired eight shots of 17 hits. And 14 were penetrations. Damage was 2,631. Hits received 4, all penetrations. Armor's pretty crap on this tank, so it's not un that unexpected. We spotted 2 enemy vehicles. We um, damaged 9 enemy vehicles on the enemy team, and we destroyed 7 of those 9. Um, we earned 864 assistance damage, which is nice. Uh, we travelled a distance of 1.45 kilometres, and we earned, profit wise, 47,556,000 credits. So yes, not sure, I think that may have been not a double, in fact I'm, I'm certain that's not a double because if you think that's 50% extra equals that, so yeah that was not a double, so 2000 experience on a double is not bad. So yeah, anyway I will leave it this for now, I hope you enjoyed the replay, please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video and leave a comment and also send your replays in if you want some commentary on those. 
I'm still doing those if you want them. Um, I haven't received any, so I haven't done any yet. So if you send one in for... Oh, and please ensure it's for this current version of uh, 9.6. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to read it um, at the moment. I don't have a big enough hard drive to store the other versions of World of Tanks. Once I get a new PC at the end of the year, I will be able to do that, though. So um, until then, uh, send me in replays for the current version of World of Tanks, and I shall review them when I get a chance. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later, goodbye.